everybody, and welcome to tonight's ball game. We are at Hunchbarger's Corner, just outside of Union City, Ohio. My name is Mark Bixler. We're certainly glad to be with you. I am with M. Bixler Video Productions. And tonight's game, it's the Twin Valley South Panthers and the Mississippi Valley Blackhawks. We are in a cross-county conference matchup. Quickly, the starting lineups here tonight. First off for the visiting Panthers, number 24, Nick Myers, Brent Flory, wearing number 30. James Mathis will be in uniform number 32. Number 34 is Angelo Davis, and number 42 is Brody Reich. The Panthers are coached by Tony Augsburger. For the host Mississippi Valley Blackhawks, number 14 is Kenny Cook, number 20, Todd Peachy. Dustin Swallow is number 22, Dan Hanus wears number 24, and Zach Ward will be in uniform number 40. The Blackhawks are coached by Mr. Jerry Bargy, or rather, that is correct. The player that you need to watch tonight for the Blackhawks, number 20, Todd Peachy. We, of course, have already been at one Mississippi Valley game, and that was against Ansonia. It was on the road for the Blackhawks. The Blackhawks, unfortunately, could not hang on to the lead that, that they had throughout most of the game and dropped that ball game. Both teams entered the game with out a win. And so both teams looking for their first win in that particular game. A great ball game, but the Tigers, the homestanding Tigers, coming out on top that night over the visiting Blackhawks. Tonight, it's a battle of the exact extremes, the extreme opposites. The Panthers are undefeated in league play, while the Blackhawks are still winless. They have not won a regular season game or a league game. And the... Hawks with, or rather the Panthers with possession to start things off here. That's Angelo Davis, and from the corner, that shot would not go, did not catch the number of that individual, but the Blackhawks grabbed the rebound. We are scoreless, and we are just underway here tonight at Hunchbarger's Corner. And Heinous with the ball goes left side. That's Swallow. Now with it is Kenny Cook. Out top, Hanus. Hanus goes left side. Peachy goes inside. The shot is blocked by Cook. It's tipped away. The Hawks unable to get anything that time. The Panthers with the ball as they get it to the high post. That's Brody Reich. Long range jumper will not go. Peachy tips it out to Zach Ward. Here come the Blackhawks. Dustin Swallow sets up the offense. Cook with it, looks inside. He'll bring it back out to Hanus. They'll set up the offense again. They go left side to Swallow. Swallow to Peachy. Peachy brings it out top. Cook with it on the left side top, left side wing. Peachy takes the handoff back to Cook. Cook steps to the elbow, left elbow, fires, can't get it to go. That's Angelo Davis. He'll push it up court for the Panthers. Coming from behind, taking it away was Don Hanus, or rather Dan Hanus. And the left wing jumper by the Hawks. They take a 2 0 lead. Peachy with that jumper. Davis. Left wing jumper, Mathis fires, could not get it to drop. Loose ball, it's off of the Blackhawks. It'll be Twin Valley South ball. They'll put it in play under their own basket. Putting it in play, Nick Myers. Myers fires it in play. That is Flory. And the right jumper is good. Davis, I believe that was a three-pointer. 3-2, whistle and the foul, and the basket is going to count. Goal, 
Well, that gives the Hawks a 4-3 lead here tonight. The basket of the free throw is good, and the Hawks lead it by two. 5-3, Blackhawks over the Panthers. Davis with the ball across midcourt, top of the key, and out of bounds, the pass intended for Flory. And a turnover gives it back to Mississinawal. Well, the Blackhawks look to extend their lead. They lead it, as we said, by two as Haynes across the midcourt. Gives it to Cook. Cook looks inside, still looking. Now take it, takes it to the right wing. Peachy from the top right side. The three-pointer would not go. Myers grabs the rebound for the Panthers. Across midcourt, pulls up left side. That goes to Flory. Myers pulls up, left wing jumper, buries it. And we're knotted up at five apiece. Swallow gives it up to Ward. That's Hanus with the ball on the left side. Peachy, or that was Swallow firing the jumper, could not get it to go. The Panthers with it. Davis quickly down court. Flory penetrates the lane, fires the runner, can't get it to go. And Ward picks up the foul. Flory at the line, getting two. The first is good. Uh, just the second lead of the night for the Panthers, now they lead it by two, 7-5. In trouble, but the Panthers with the steal, they lay it up and good. And we're knotted up at nine, or it's 9-5 rather. Cook in some trouble. Gives it to Swallow, right side, that is Penis. Swallow with it on the wing. Penetrates the lane, whistle. And a pushing foul. Let's check and see. Flory picks up the foul. For three, Swallow, and he buries it. And it's a 9-8 score. So the Blackhawks pulled within one. Myers from the right side, and that hits that little, hits a little bit of extension above the rim. And of course that is out of bounds, so it gives it back to the Blackhawks. Hook. Fires it back to Swallow, who gets it across midcourt. Cook lost his dribble, gives it up to Peachy. 9-8, Peachy from the right wing cannot get the bounce. And the rebound goes to South. Davis pushes it up court quickly. Now he'll pull it back out. Left side, it goes to Myers on the baseline. Flory, and he loses it out of bounds. Blackhawks will put it in play. They're down by a point right now. 9-8, opening quarter of play. The Blackhawks barely get it in. Peachy takes the inbounds pass. Now gets it across midcourt. That is Haynes. Haynes tries to get it to Cook, but it's intercepted by Davis. Davis is going to lay it up and off the glass. Will not go. Cook grabs the rebound, quickly pushes it down court. Peachy lays it up and good. Blackhawks by a point.
10-9 now. Mississippi Valley up by one bat, one point actually. David Good. Spin move as Brandon McIntyre is called for traveling. And that gives the ball back to Mississippi Valley. Cook puts it in play. And he tries to get Zach Ward. And the give, the turnover gives it back to Twin Valley South. For three, will not go. Mao had the ball, check that. Yes, it was Mao. Had the ball inside, tried to pass it off, but a turnover traveling called against Twin Valley South gives it back to the Blackhawks. The pass intended for Hanus is out of bounds on the far side, so the Panthers will put it in play. Down by a point right now, 10-9. Davis across the midcourt stripe. Right side it goes to McIntyre. McIntyre gives it to Good. Davis could not get that to go, but the putback is good. Eleven ten whistle and the foul it goes against Good. Still a common foul. A minute 56 remains, opening quarter of play. Cook could not get it to go, it's batted out. Swallow grabs the long rebound. Ward can't get it to go, batted around, and finally, Good comes out with it to Davis. Davis will push it up court. McIntyre can't get it, the rebound is to Ward. Peachy will push it up court. Gives it to Hanus across the midcourt strike. Hanus to Ward, it's Dan Freshour trying to get around Ward with a little push from behind and still a common foul. So Peachy will put the ball in play for the Blackhawks. They are down by one, 11-10. Hanus with the ball, right side it goes to Peachy. That's Cook with it on the wing. He fires for two, will not go, Freshour. Grabs the rebound, and here come the Panthers again. Davis. That is tipped. Hanus. And the foul against Davis. So Hanus will go to the line, getting a pair. A minute eight. A minute eight is what remains here. We are in the opening quarter of play. Panthers by a point, 11-10. Hanus can't get the first, but he will get a second. The second is on the way. We're knotted up at 11. Mao goes inside, the shot would not drop. The putback by Mao is good. Yeah. It's 13-11, Blackhawks trail by two right now. Swallow with the ball. He'll get it across to Cook. Cook tries to go inside. It's deflected away. Freshour comes away with it. Good. Takes it in. And what do we have? It's going to be an offensive foul, and the basket will be taken away. Thirteen eleven is the score. Blackhawks trail by two to the Panthers. Peachy dish, dishes it off to Hanus. Fires will not go. It's batted out.
Nathan Denniston at the line, getting the one and one. It is on the way, and it's good. The first, he'll get the back end now. 13-12. Panthers of Twin Valley South. This is a cross-county conference matchup, as we have said. We are knotted up at 13 right now. My name is Mark Bixler. We're certainly glad to be with you here tonight from Hunchbarger's Corner, Mississippi Valley High School. McIntyre checked that Flory shot would not go and quickly tried to get it down court, but that is it. The first quarter is over with the score. Mississippi Valley 13, Twin Valley South 13. Helping underwrite this event, the Made Right Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville. The Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street by Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home of Brookville and Kreitzer Funeral Home of Arcanum by Greenville National Bank, with locations throughout Dark County. Cox Insurance, located in Ansonia and in Greenville. Homestretch Sportswear in Wapakoneta and St. Henry and Ambixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Oliver Floyd Funeral Home in Greenville and Pope Braun Funeral Home in New Madison, Montage Cafe located in downtown Greenville, McCabe Painting Incorporated of Greenville, Osgood State Bank with several locations, Family Health Services, Greenville Arcanum for sales in New Madison, State Farm Insurance, your agent Jim Gable, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. Second quarter just about ready to get underway. As we have alluded to, we are knotted up at 13 apiece. This is Sinawal Valley against the Twin Valley South Panthers. This is Sinawal has not won a game yet this year. That is deflected out of bounds. It'll be South Ball, both in the regular season and conference. And obviously, if they have not won a, a game yet, they have not won one in the conference. Although they have been close a few times, taking Tri-Village to triple overtime and also losing to Ansonia in the final quarter. Peachy drags the pivot foot. Traveling is called. An obvious travel. Although I think Jerry Bargy wanted a foul, but no such call. Well, the turnover gives it back to Mississippi Wall. We are tied at 13, second quarter of play. My name is Mark Bixler. The video being produced by M. Bixler Video Productions. Heinous with the ball out top right side. He'll take it to the top of the key. That's Cook. Fires it left side. Denniston. Cook with it now. Beyond the arc. Takes it down to the left side wing. Out top it goes. To Heinous. Cook Fires for three, and that gives the Hawks a 16-13 lead. That three by McIntyre does not go, and the whistle and the foul against Lance Mao will walk the distance. For the one in bonus. Sixteen thirteen, Mississippi Wall leading this by three. Peachy with a chance to add to the lead. He does. It's a four point game. Seventeen thirteen. Now can make it a five point game.
The second free throw is also good. Eighteen thirteen, Blackhawks by five. The Panthers with the ball. That's Myers goes right side. McIntyre drives baseline, tries to fire it back to Mathis. Not sure what the call. It may have been kicking the ball. The three-pointer does not go. That is right with the rebound. Good. The putback. And it's an 18-15 lead for the Hawks. Hanus gives it to Cook. Denniston goes baseline. He's cut off. Back to Cook. Inside to Ward. Count the basket. And Ward is going to go to the line, getting a free throw, a chance for an old-fashioned three-point play with 5.46 remaining. Cannot get it to drop. The rebound is to Mathis. Myers across midcourt, top of the key. Looks to go right side now. That is McIntyre. Reich goes baseline, will not go. Peachy quickly down court. Anus is fouled by McIntyre, and he'll go to the line, getting the one and one, or getting two, actually. And Tony Augsburger wants to talk things over with his Panthers. They are down by five right now, 20 to 15. Twenty-second timeout taken by the Panthers. Mrs. Sinawal has outscored the Panthers here in this quarter, seven to two. Helping underwrite this event, the Made Right Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville, the Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street, by Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home of Brookville and Kreitzer Funeral Home of Arcanum, by Greenville National Bank with locations throughout Dark County. Cox Insurance, located in Ansonia and in Greenville. Homestretch Sportswear in Wapakoneta and St. Henry, and Ambixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Oliver Floyd Funeral Home in Greenville and Pope Braun Funeral Home of New Madison. Montage Cafe, located in downtown Greenville. McKay Painting Incorporated of Greenville. Osgood State Bank, with several locations. Family Health Services, Greenville Arcanum, Versailles in New Madison, State Farm Insurance, your agent, Jim Gable, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. Hanus will go to the line, getting a pair for the Blackhawks. Second quarter of play, five-point lead. Cannot get the first, but he'll get a second, though. Second is good, and the Blackhawks have their biggest lead of the night, 21-15. Myers dishes it off. That is number 30. That's Brent Flory. Myers now gives it off to McIntyre. McIntyre cut off the baseline. Myers with it back. Back out top to Flory. Flory on the left side wing, being guarded by Hanus in the paint. Reich gets it to drop. Makes it a four-point game again, 21-17. Hanus with it out top, fires for three. Off to the left side, and it is out of bounds. And it should be south ball. Indeed it will. McIntyre will put it in play. They are down by four and a chance to make it a two-point game right now. 21-17 the score. Second quarter of play as Myers gives it to Flory. 
Baseline, Mathis fires it out to the wing, and it's good, three-pointer. Well, that makes it a one-point game right now, 21-20. Blackhawks by a point. Blackhawks in white with the black piping. Ward could not get it to go, and the rebound was to Reich, and we have a foul against Mississippi Valley. <laughs> South will put it in play. As we said, it's a one-point game. Myers takes the inbounds pass. Flory fires for three. It will not go. The rebound is quickly down to Hanus. Hanus will pull it back out. Back inside. That's Pooter. On the wing, the jumper. It's an air ball. This is Sinawal unable to convert. And now a loose ball and a whistle. And what do we have? It's apparently out of bounds off of South, so it'll be Mississippi ball. Still the Hawks up by a point. Cook puts it in play, gives it to Deniston, or Heinous rather, Heinous. To Cook. Cook back out top to Deniston, or to rather Heinous. Cook gives it to Deniston. And we have a foul. It's going to go against Heinous, an illegal pick with a hold. The foul nonetheless turns it over to Twin Valley South. 21 20. Hawks by a point right now over the Panthers. Mathis cannot get it to drop. Mal the putback. It won't go. Peachy fighting for it. Comes away with it for the Hawks. Deniston fires it out top. Peachy. They call traveling. I'm not exactly sure he did, but in the eyes of the official, it was traveling. He put a little hesitation in, and in the eyes of the official, walked. Mal fires for three, and it bounces over the rim, and that's out of bounds. So it'll be Blackhawk ball underneath the south basket. Hanus across midcourt, being hounded by Myers. Cook with the ball, fires it across court. That's PG. PG goes baseline, pulls up for the jumper. Good. 23 20. Hawks lead it by three right now. Myers across midcourt. McIntyre for three, won't drop. And it's off of Mathis. Mal tried to save it. I'm not sure if he was trying to save it, pass it back into his teammate or whether he was trying to get it off of a Blackhawk, but nonetheless, Mathis couldn't hang on to it regardless. And it goes back out of bounds. It'll be Hawk ball. 23-20, Mississippi leads it by three right now over the Panthers. Hook could not get it to drop. The rebound to Myers. Myers races down court. Pulls up in the lane, leaves it short. The rebound is to the Hawks. Quickly down court to Swallow. Swallow brings it out top, sets it up. Right side it goes to Hanus. Hanus sets it up again. Goes left side. Peachy goes baseline, pulls up for the jumper. Rims out. 
and the long rebound. I think some South fans won it over and back, but that is not the case. That was swatted out on a rebound. No possession. Thus, it was not over and back. It's out of bounds now. It'll be South Ball underneath the Blackhawk basket. 23-20, Mississippi Valley by a tray right now as Myers works it across midcourt. Myers goes left side. That's Mao on the baseline. Mathis back to Myers. Myers right side now to McIntyre. On the wing, Mathis goes baseline. Now Mao with it on the baseline. Gives it to McIntyre in the lane. Underneath fresh hour, off the glass, good. 23-22, Mississippi Wall by a point right now as Hainis with it, dribbles it across midcourt. Peachy pulls up, thinks better of taking the three. Swallow on the left side. Myers gives it left side. Mao back to Myers. Now back to Mao. Mao goes baseline. Looks in the paint. Fresh hour off the glass. Cannot get it to go. McIntyre the putback. He is fouled. He will go to the line getting two. Peachy whistled for that foul. 23-22. Blackhawks by a point right now. My name is Mark Bixler. We're glad to be with you. This video, as we have said, is being produced by M. Bixler Video Productions. The first free throw will not go, so. McIntyre still trying to knot it up. 23-22 is the score. The second free throw is on the way, and it's good. We're tied at 23. At the buzzer, Mao with a steal, but couldn't get the shot off before halftime. We have reached halftime with the score. Mississippi Valley 23, Twin Valley South 23. Helping underwrite this event, the Made Right Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville, the Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street by Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home of Brookville and Kreitzer Funeral Home of Arcanum, by Greenville National Bank, with locations throughout Dark County. Cox Insurance, located in Ansonia and in Greenville. Homestretch Sportswear in Wapakoneta and St. Henry, and Ambixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Oliver Floyd Funeral Home in Greenville and Pope Braun Funeral Home of New Madison. Montage Cafe, located in downtown Greenville. McCabe Painting Incorporated of Greenville. Osgood State Bank with several locations, Family Health Services, Greenville Arcanum, Versailles and New Madison, State Farm Insurance, your agent, Jim Gable, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. Well, we go to the third quarter. We're just about ready to get underway. We are tied at 23. We were tied at 13. We're tied at 23 as we go to the final, the second half. Myers puts it in play to Davis. The pass intended for Myers goes out of bounds. Peachy pulls up for three and buries it. 26-23. Blackhawks by a tray right now. And that tray, the difference being Todd Peachy. That's a three by Flory. Would not go. Haynes grabs the rebound. And he loses it out of bounds. It will be south ball. Davis. 
Brings it right side. Myers across court. Mathis with the ball. Now McIntyre. I believe that's McIntyre. Check that. It's Flory. Reich spins out, fires, leaves it short, batted around. And a held ball, it goes to Mississippi on the alternating possession. Still the Blackhawks by three right now, 26-23. Cook was apparently on the line when he took that pass, and the turnover gives it back to South. Davis will work it across. Out top it goes. That's Mathis. It's deflected out of bounds. It'll stay with South. Davis with the ball out top. Sets up the offense. Right side, Myers in the paint. Reich, they try to pass it down, and it's tipped away. Ward with the steal. Heinous. To Peachy, Peachy underneath the ward, nice fake, puts it on the floor, lost it, got it back though, now Heinous with it out top. Swallow with it on the right side, gives it to Peachy. Peachy in the paint underneath. Ward, or Cook could not get it to go, and it's deflected out of bounds, it'll go to South. 26-23. Davis with the ball out top. Panthers down by a tray right now. Davis got it to Mathis. Flory with it out top. It goes to Davis. Davis at the free throw line. Right side. Flory lays it up. It is blocked by Peachy. Saved by Hanus. Hanus right side. It goes to Cook. Back out top to Hanus. Left side Peachy. Pulls up for the baseline jumper. Leaves it short. Batted around. Right comes down with the rebound. And a whistle on the reach in. It's going to go against... Heinous, he disagrees with the call, but you really couldn't let that go as incidental contact. Timeout is taken with the score remaining. This is Inouye Valley 26, Twin Valley South 23, a 22nd timeout. I believe it may not be. Helping underwrite this event, the Made Right Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville, the Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street by Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home of Brookville and Kreitzer Funeral Home of Arcanum by Greenville National Bank, with locations throughout Dark County. Cox Insurance, located in Ansonia and in Greenville, Homestretch Sportswear in Wapakoneta and St. Henry, and Ambixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Oliver Floyd Funeral Home in Greenville and Pope Braun Funeral Home in New Madison, Montage Cafe located in downtown Greenville, McCabe Painting Incorporated of Greenville, Osgood State Bank with several locations, Family Health Services, Greenville Arcanum for sales in New Madison, State Farm Insurance, your agent, Jim Gable, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. 5.28 remaining here in this third quarter. South has yet to score in the second half. We were tied at 13 and tied at 23 at the half. The only basket, a three by Todd Peachy. Myers thought about a three. Now Davis with it. Left side, he goes right side. Mathis. Out top it goes to Myers. Mathis with it again on the right side wing. Myers gives it up for three in and out. Cook the rebound quickly down court to Hanus. Hanus will slow it up. Ward dishes it off to Swallow on the right side wing. Back out top now it goes to Cook. Cook hands it off to Hanus. Hanus right side, that's Swallow. They lead it by three. Across court it goes to Peachy. 
PG back across court to Swallow, pulls up the baseline, jumper, good. 28-23, Blackhawks now by five. The Hawks looking for their first win of the season, and they're looking to do it against league leader, Twin Valley South. The three by Flory won't go, and we have a held ball, and this time it should stay with South. Twenty-eight, twenty-three. Mississippi Valley by five right now. Inside Reich. Whistle, and he steps on the line. It's Mississippi ball. Panthers applying some full court pre pressure. And wisely, Cook takes a timeout. It will be a 20. He was running out of time and knew it. South, a good job defensively. Mississippi Valley, Kenny Cook with a wise timeout right there. 28-23, Mississippi Valley leads it by five right now over the Black Hawk, over the Panthers. The Blackhawks lead it by five. PG takes the inbounds pass, dishes it off. That is Cook on the far side, out top. Now gives it up to Swallow. Swallow being pressured by Davis. Cook with it, goes baseline, pulls up, starts to fall down, and it is kicked out of bounds. It will be Blackhawk ball on the far side. Well, we'll be back here at Mississippi Valley in a couple, about a week and a half, actually, when the Hawks take on the Tigers again for the rematch. We had the first one. The Tigers winning that, coming from behind, but we'll be back here on the 20th of January. A whistle and a foul against Mississippi this time. Cook with the foul, a common foul, so the Panthers will put it in play under the Black Hawk basket. But right now we've got a good one. It's Mississippi Wall 28, Twin Valley South 23. A whistle. Three oh five remains, twenty eight twenty three, Mississippi Valley. The free throw is good, it makes it a four point ball game. Twenty eight twenty four, Blackhawks by four. Mathis hits the first free throw. Second one is on the way. It's also good. 28-25. Cook finds Dennison quickly down court. I believe that was Dennison. And carrying the ball against is called against Hanus. Hanus wanted to find out exactly what he did, and I can say specifically he put that hesitation dribble in and you're going to get a, a carrying the ball every time you do that as that is a three and we're tied at 28. Cook with the ball out top right side that is Swallow firing the three cannot get it to go and South on a run here 5-0 a chance to 
take their first lead of the second half. Davis could not get it to drop. Right the rebound, the putback bounces around, will not go, and the whistle, it's going to go against McIntyre. Still a common foul. Peachy, the inbounds pass, Cook with it, and he's called for traveling. Twenty-eight, twenty-eight is the score. McIntyre will put it in play underneath their own basket for the Panthers. Davis out top, right side. That is McIntyre. It's deflected out of bounds. It stays with South. My name is Mark Bixler. We're certainly glad to be with you here at Mississippi Valley High School. We're at Hunchbarger's Corner. Mathis couldn't get the first time. The second one drops, and South takes their first lead of the second half. 30 to 28. Peachy gives it to Cook, and Ward could not get it to drop. Rolls around the front of the rim and finally off. It looked like it was going to drop, and then it just kind of fell off. A three-pointer by Good does not go. Gets his own rebound, though. Pulls up, now takes it back out to Davis. They'll set up the offense. The three will not go. Mathis has his shot blocked, but he's fouled by Peachy. Mathis will go to the line getting a pair. Battle rattles around and finally drops. Thirty-one twenty-eight. The second free throw is on the way, or not just about on the way. Mathis fires and gets it, and a violation. He was across the line on the inbounds pass that gives it back to Twin Valley South. The lob inside, Freshenauer cannot get it to go. Swallow grabs the rebound, gives it to Peachy, and he'll get it across midcourt. Peachy off to Swallow. Swallow looks, nothing there. Peachy with it out top. The pass inside is deflected away. South comes away with a steal. Good, fires from the wing, buries it. South is on an 11-0 run, 34-28. They lead it by six here in the third quarter. One minute exactly remains with South up by six, as we said, 34-28. Helping underwrite this event, the Made Right Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville, the Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street, by Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home of Brookville and Kreitzer Funeral Home of Arcanum by Greenville National Bank with locations throughout Dark County. Cox Insurance located in Ansonia and in Greenville. Homestretch Sportswear in Wapakoneta and St. Henry and Ambixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Oliver Floyd Funeral Home in Greenville and Pope Braun Funeral Home of New Madison Montage Cafe, located in downtown Greenville, McCabe Painting Incorporated of Greenville, Osgood State Bank with several locations, Family Health Services, Greenville Arcanum, Versailles and New Madison, State Farm Insurance, your agent, Jim Gable, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. 
My name is Mark Bixler. We're certainly glad to be with you here tonight from Hunchbarger's Corner. That's off of Davis. Well, we've had a good, a great basketball game thus far. 34-28, Mississippi Valley finds themselves down by six right now, although it was tied at 13, then at 23. 13 at the end of the first quarter, then at 23. I'm not sure what the delay is right now, but anyway. Then the Blackhawks went on a 5-0 run to start the second half and led 28-23, but since then... It has been all Twin Valley South. They've scored the last 11 points of the game. And right now we stand at a 34-28 lead, Twin Valley South. Peachy. The pass broken up. And a loose ball, Swallow tips it. Freshenauer picks it up off the glass. Good. Now we have a, both benches get their warning right now as the ball was tipped. After it went through the basket, someone from Twin Valley South tipped the ball. And the official giving both teams their warning. So now if it happens again, it is for either team. It's an automatic technical. Quickly down court, underneath, all alone is Ward. And that ends that 13-0 run. And draws Mississippi to within 6, 36, 30 right now. Mathis gives it back to Davis. He'll get it across midcourt. Right side, that is McIntyre out top to Davis. Underneath Freshenauer. Shot would not go, or Freshauer. I know it's Freshauer, but I keep saying Freshenauer. I don't know why. My apologies. Cook, that wing jumper from the left side is good, and the Blackhawks are within two. At the end, or within four, rather, and at the end of three quarters, South has taken a four-point lead, 36-32, as we head to the final quarter of play. Helping underwrite this event, the Made Right Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville. The Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street by Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home of Brookville and Kreitzer Funeral Home of Arcanum by Greenville National Bank, with locations throughout Dark County. Cox Insurance, located in Ansonia and in Greenville. Homestretch Sportswear in Wapakoneta and St. Henry. And Ambixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Oliver Floyd Funeral Home in Greenville and Pope Braun Funeral Home of New Madison, Montage Cafe located in downtown Greenville, McCabe Painting Incorporated of Greenville, Osgood State Bank with several locations, Family Health Services, Greenville Arcanum for sales in New Madison, State Farm Insurance, your agent Jim Gable, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. For three, leaves it long. Ward fakes, goes up for it. Cannot get it to drop. That is good, grabbing the rebound for... South, Davis with it out top. That's McIntyre back out top to Davis. Davis fires for three and nails it. Thirty-nine, thirty-two. Blackhawks down by seven. 
Cook. Swallow is going to go to the line, and he will get a pair. Mao is... Going to the line and getting a pair. Swallow, Mao with the foul. First free throw is good. It's a six point game now. An opportunity to make it five. Cut it to five. Second free throw will not go. The rebound is to South. Davis pushes it up court. Davis. Brings it back out top. Three-pointer will not go. Loose ball. Davis saves it. Back into Cook, though. Sw uh, Hainis with it. He'll pull it back out. Peachy for three. Rattles around. Will not go. And it is off of Mississippi. Fresh hour puts it in play. Gives it to Davis. 39-33, south by six. They have the ball. Right side it goes. McIntyre out top it goes to Good. Davis gives it to McIntyre. Back to Davis. He fires for three. Leaves it short. Loose ball. Speechy fires it back in. Davis picks it up. Goes in along the Giants and off the glass. Cannot get it to go. Mal the rebound. The put back will not go. Zach Ward with the rebound. Swallow for three, gets it. Well, that makes it a three-point game now, 39-36. In the paint, fresh hour. And an offensive foul. Called on fresh hour. Three-point lead for the Panthers. Quickly down court. And we'll bring it all the way back. No one touched it, so South will get it and put it in play under their own basket. McIntyre doing the honors. Mathis with the basket. 41-36. Marty, have mercy. Flory picks up the foul. 41-36 is the score. Panthers by five. Peachy gives it to Cook. Swallow with it now. Left side. He'll bring it out top. Hands it off. Well, it was going to give it to Hainis, but instead Cook gets the ball. Peachy with it out top right now. Cook goes baseline, fires it, and he is going to be fouled. Reich picks up the foul. Cook goes to the line, getting two. First is on the way, will not go off the heel of the rim. He'll get the second free throw, though. The second is on the way, and it's off the heel of the rim, and Good pulls down the rebound for the Panthers. Good, being harassed by Hainis, 
Gives it to McIntyre, back to Good. Now Swallow comes up and harasses Good. Reich at the post, gets it to drop. 43-36. The steal, Flory pulls up, dishes it down underneath, it's Good. And it's a nine point lead. The Blackhawks having some trouble, but get it across. Peachy pulls up for the jumper. He is fouled. Well, the Blackhawks with an opportunity to cut into the Panther lead, 45-36. Entering the ball game for Mississippi Valley, Jason Cooter, and re-entering is Nick Myers for the Panthers. Peachy's first free throw is good. 45-37, eight points separate the two teams right now. Peachy tries to make it seven, and he does. Good. In the lane, underneath the right, whistle. Good is called for the pow. to see whether it's one and one, and it will be one and one. Well, let's check in. I, I'm not sure who is going to go to the line getting the one and one. It is Jason Pooter. Forty-five, thirty-eight is the score. Pooter's first free throw is good. Six points separate the two teams right now. Pooter will try to make it five. Free throw is on the way. It's good. Forty-five, forty. Blackhawks pulled to within five. Just moments ago, they were down by nine. Davis gives it to Myers. Myers right side. And an offensive, or is it? will it be a block? It will be a block. He pulled up just a little late. He was about a half a step late to get the charge. A reach-in foul. It's going to go against the Blackhawks. Let's check and see. I believe it'll go against Pooter, and indeed will. Myers puts it in play. Flory to Myers. Cross court it goes. Davis inside the low post. That's Mathis fires, and it rattles out. Whistle. And the foul is going to go against the Panthers. Mathis picks up the foul. 45-40, Pooter at the line again. Getting one and one. Gets the first. 45-41, it's now a four point ball game. 
The second is on the way, and it will not go. The rebound is to Mathis, Davis, and traveling is going to be the call. Forty-five, forty-one. fourth quarter of play. Blackhawks trailed the Panthers of Twin Valley South by four. We're at Hunchbarger's Corner in Mississinawa Valley High School. My name is Mark Bixler. This video being produced by M. Bixler Video Productions. Helping underwrite this event, the Made Right Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville. The Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street, by Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home of Brookville and Kreitzer Funeral Home of Arcanum by Greenville National Bank with locations throughout Dark County. Cox Insurance located in Ansonia and in Greenville. Homestretch Sportswear in Wapakoneta and St. Henry and Ambixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Oliver Floyd Funeral Home in Greenville and Pope Braun Funeral Home of New Madison Montage Cafe, located in downtown Greenville, McCabe Painting Incorporated of Greenville, Osgood State Bank with several locations, Family Health Services, Greenville Arcanum, Versailles and New Madison, State Farm Insurance, your agent Jim Gable, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. As we said, 327 remains here in regulation. Final quarter of play, Blackhawks with the ball, down by four. Peachy will put it in play for Mississippi Wall. Ward gives it to the Swallow. That is Peachy. Left side, Swallow out top. Peachy fires for three, gets it. It's a one-point ball game, 45-44 after that three. Flory across the midcourt stripe. Gives it to Myers. Myers penetrates the lane, and he's called for traveling. Ward gives it to Hanus. The Blackhawks a chance to take the lead. Swallow. Peachy on the baseline, lays it up, leaves it strong. Ward, the putback, will not go. Pooter, he cannot get it to go, gets it back, puts it up, and it will not go, but he will go to the line and get a pair. Forty-five, forty-four. final quarter of play, Blackhawks. Trail by a point. Jason Pooter at the line, a chance to tie it. It's on the way, it won't go. He'll get another crack at tying it. Pooter's free throw is good. This one rattles through, and that ties the score at 45. Flory puts it in play. The give is to Davis. Tied at 45 here at Hunchbarger's corner. We have a good one. Davis being harassed by Hanus. Flory with it. Swallow guarding him. Reich out top. Passes it out top. Mathis. Davis. Flory for three. Will not go. And it's deflected out of bounds off of South. Swallow will put it in play for the Hawks. Fire it down court. Peachy goes in, lays it up. It's good, and he's fouled. David Good committing the foul. 47-45. Blackhawks now lead it by a point. Todd Peachy will go to the line, trying to make it a three-point play. And that is Good's fifth foul. Nick Myers re-enters the ball game for the Panthers. Defense, 
Peachy gets the roll, and it's a three-point lead now for the Hawks, 48-45. Davis takes it back out. Flory back to Myers now. Mathis in the paint. Cannot get it to go, and it's off of Peachy. It'll go to the South Panthers. They'll put it in play under their own basket. Down by three right now. Myers putting it in play. He brings it back out, and a reach-in foul. Hanus committing the foul. Myers going to the line, a chance to trim this. With a minute 40 remaining to a two-point game right now, possibly down as close as one. Free throws at the end of the ball game. Boy, how important are they? Cannot get the front end, which means he ultimately misses two. And that is off of South. It will be misses in a wall basketball. A long pass down to Peachy, lays it up, and good. The Blackhawks have taken a five-point lead. 50 to 45. And a blocking foul goes against Hanus. Davis will go to the line. Gets the first. The second is on the way and it will not go. It makes it a four-point game. Flory grabs the rebound. Davis for three. Mathis could not get it. And South will take it out underneath their own basket after the violation. Davis with it out top, 50-46, Mississippi wall by four. Flory gives it to McIntyre, McIntyre inside, Mathis gets it to go. 50 to 48, it's back to a two point game right now. Ward gives it to Peachy and that's not who you wanna foul. Hanus and he will go to the line. And he'll get two. Fifty forty-eight. Mississippi Wall leads it by two. Dan Hanus at the free throw line, getting the double bonus. Cannot get the first. Well, we've said it before and we'll say it again. It's important to hit free throws down the stretch. Cannot get either to go. Davis will work it across the midcourt stripe. That's Mathis. McIntyre from the baseline leaves it short. The rebound goes to Swallow, and now he'll go to the free throw line with a chance for two free throws. Well, we have a thriller right here. And if the Blackhawks cannot hit their, hit their free throws, it could even be more of a thriller. 50 to 48 is the score. First free throw is in and out. The 
second free throw. It's on the way, and it's off the front of the rim. Wright grabs the rebound. Davis will get it across the midcourt stripe. McIntyre to Mathis. Off the glass. It's good. We're tied at 50. Timeout taken. We are knotted up at 50 apiece. 12.3 ticks remaining. 50-50 is the score. Peachy gives it to Swallow down court. It's intercepted. One last look. And it bounces off, will not go, and that ends the quarter. We are going to overtime. Tied at 50. Well, the Blackhawks let a five-point go, a five-point lead slip away. Helping underwrite this event, the Made Right Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville, the Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street, by Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home of Brookville and Kreitzer Funeral Home of Arcanum by Greenville National Bank with locations throughout Dark County. Cox Insurance located in Ansonia and in Greenville. Homestretch Sportswear in Wapakoneta and St. Henry and Ambixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Oliver Floyd Funeral Home in Greenville and Pope Braun Funeral Home of New Madison Montage Cafe, located in downtown Greenville, McCabe Painting Incorporated of Greenville, Osgood State Bank with several locations, Family Health Services, Greenville Arcanum, Versailles in New Madison, State Farm Insurance, your agent Jim Gable, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. Mathis whistled for the foul, will walk the distance, and now shoot two. Zach Ward goes to the free throw line with the chance, as we set, for two free throws. First is on the way, and it will not go. He'll get... The second free throw, though. Boy, we say it. I don't know how many times you must hit free throws. The second is good, and that gives the Hawks a one-point lead. Flory with the ball on the left side wing. Hanus with the steal. Pulls it back out. They have the one-point lead. Swallow, right side. It goes to Peachy on the wing. Back out top to Swallow. Swallow with the free throw line. Pulls it back out top of the key. Peachy takes the pass on the wing. Now brings it out near the center court. Cook gives it back to Swallow. Swallow to Hanus. Hanus to Swallow. Hanus again with it out top. Left side, that is Peachy. Peachy across court. Swallow penetrates, pulls up for the jumper, leaves it short. Wright grabs the rebound, and a reach-in foul. It's going to go against Ward. Reich will go to the free throw line. 
shooting one and one. A chance to tie this game. 51-50 right now. Hawks by a point over the Panthers. Cannot get the free throw. And Peachy tries to chase it down in the corner, but it is out of bounds. Myers, that for three, will not go. Peachy grabs the rebound. Swallow gives it up to Peachy. Peachy across midcourt. Left side it goes. That's Cook. Cook gives it to Swallow. That is Heinous with it. Now Peachy. Peachy to Swallow. Cook gives it to Heinous. Heinous to Peachy. Peachy drives the lane, lays it up, and an offensive foul goes against Peachy. Player control. So the Panthers will take it out under the Blackhawk basket. Still a one-point lead for the Hawks, 51-50. Davis. Gives it up. That's Myers. Mathis on the baseline. Loses it. Swallow comes up with it. Cook will get it down court quickly. Peachy. Ward with it. Brings it back out to Swallow. Only one point has been scored here in the overtime. Fifty-one fifty. We were tied at fifty. We were tied at 13 at the end of the first, 23 at the half. South took a 36-32 lead at the end of three. But Mrs. Sinewall came back to tie it at 50. In fact, South at one time led 45-36. Helping underwrite this event, the Made Right Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville. The Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street by Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home of Brookville and Kreitzer Funeral Home of Arcanum by Greenville National Bank, with locations throughout Dark County. Cox Insurance, located in Ansonia and in Greenville. Homestretch Sportswear in Wapakoneta and St. Henry and Ambixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Oliver Floyd Funeral Home in Greenville and Pope Braun Funeral Home in New Madison, Montage Cafe located in downtown Greenville, McCabe Painting Incorporated of Greenville, Osgood State Bank with several locations, Family Health Services, Greenville Arcanum for sales in New Madison, State Farm Insurance, your agent Jim Gable, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. Mrs. Sinewall then scored 14 unanswered points to go up 50 to 45. But then South answered with five unanswered points to end the ball game. Tied at 50. Mrs. Sinewall with one free throw here in this first overtime. And that's where we stand right now, 51-50. Well, we have a thriller. The Blackhawks will put it in play in front of their own bench. Kenny Cook doing the honors for the Hawks, leading it by a point. Peachy takes the inbounds pass across midcourt. Right side, that's Swallow. He'll bring it back out top. And a steal. Myers gives it to Davis. Davis lays it up and good. That gives South a 52-51 lead. Hanus gives the ball to Swallow. Swallow gives it out to Hanus. Hanus to Swallow. And another 
near steal, but the foul is called this time against Myers. And now, the Hawks with a chance, with the clock stopped, to take, retake the lead, although first of all, they have to tie it. 52-51, Mississippi trails Twin Valley South here at Hunchbarger's corner by a point. Free throw is good. Knotted up at 52. Swallow hit the first, he'll get the second. It is good as well. Gets them both, 53-52. Davis, a whistle, a foul. It's going to go against Mississippi Valley. Seventeen point six seconds remain. Fifty-three, fifty-two, Mississippi Valley. Angelo Davis at the free throw line. But before he shoots his free throws, Jerry Bargy wants to take a timeout. As we said, 17.6 seconds remain. 53-52, Mississippi by a point. But Angelo Davis trying to tie the score right here and possibly give Twin Valley South the lead. The first one is good. Tied at 53. The second is on the way, and it's also good. across midcourt and he wants a timeout. So the Hawks take a full timeout with 14.5 seconds remaining. 54-53, Twin Valley South by a point. Swallow puts it in play. In trouble, finally finds Hanus. Swallow gives it to Cook. Cook, his shot is blocked, but he is fouled. And now he'll go to the line getting a pair. 5.1 seconds. That is what remains here. Cook trying to tie it. The first is off the front. Missed an important one, but now the second one becomes even more critical. Now he must hit this one or they have to get the rebound. The second one is good. We are tied at 54. Boy, do we have a thriller, 54-54. It was thrilling at the end of regulation and it's thrilling here at the end of the overtime. 5.1 seconds remaining. The give. And it goes underneath. It is good. South with the basket. Mississippi tries to get a timeout, but they are out of timeouts. 
56-54 and a lot. There was 5.1 seconds remaining. The clock did not start initially. Fifty-six, fifty-four. Mississippi down by two, and they were out of timeouts when they tried to get the timeout. That means a technical foul. And an unfortunate circumstance to end this ball game. Because now all South has to do is is really inbounds the pass. Even if they miss both free throws. Fifty-six, fifty-four is the score. Angelo Davis will go to the line, and he will shoot two technical free throws. Now the ruling is if you're out of timeouts and try to take one, that is a technical foul. And what, the only way to phrase this is what an ugly finish to an otherwise absolutely great ball game. Both technicals are good. We have 2.5 seconds remaining. And it really should be 0.5 because he took almost the full time to go that 5.1 seconds. The inbounds pass and that will, now traveling is called. And that turns it over to Mississippi but with a four point lead, Unless they foul them on the, the, the shot attempt. The Swallow fires for three, and that does not drop. But what an ugly finish to an otherwise great basketball game. The final score, Twin Valley South in overtime over Mississippi Valley, 58-54. to I'm Mark Bixler for M. Bixler Video Productions saying so long, everybody.